Hello, I'm Richard Fulford of Fish Life and today I want to show you how to clean an Awaza filtrel. This is a small uh, patio water feature with a few goldfish and in here there is a filtrel. I've just switched it off. I'm going to lower the water level, remove the filtrel and take it apart and demonstrate how to clean it and then put it back together. It's very simple. Okay, so this is a Awaza Fill Trowel 6000. We've got a clip here and a similar clip at the back. Now I don't think this has been cleaned for some time. Now obviously I'm doing this with my left hand. We've got open celled foam more open so uh, we've got these little um, black plastic pieces which are for bacteriological filtration and um, there's gravel here as well um, which again provides um, a surface area for bacteria to colonize so there's a lot of muck in here um, now the client was uh, reporting um, some noise coming from the filter and um, my suspicions are is that the impeller needs cleaning. It might well be that there is a, a small piece of gravel uh, stuck in there which is making the noise. Right, so what I'm going to do is clean the open celled foam in water taken from the pond. I'm not sure if we can call this a pond. Let's call it a water feature. Now the reason for doing this is because tap water is of a different chemical makeup. There might be chlorine present, it will be a different pH, it might be a different temperature. And although many of the microbes, the important microbes live in here, they will also live in the foam. So it is always best to clean the foams, clean the filter media in water taken from the pond. Right, so I'm gonna clean the black foam first this is denser than the blue foam. Remember, it's called open celled foam. It has a large surface area. Uh, it has a, a sort of honeycomb like structure and it will trap a lot, a lot of muck. Now I think these foams may have been cleaned by the client um, since I was here last, but there's certainly a lot of muck in here. I'm gonna need both hands to do this. Right, okay, so the bottom part of the filter is now clean. The bags of gravel are clean and the plastic biological media has been cleaned. The phones are clean. Now it might not look it, but that's good enough. We don't want to sterilize the filter. So I'm just going to put all these parts back in. If you are having to regularly top the pond up with hard alkaline tap water, you may find that uh, calcium will precipitate on the impeller. Now, this isn't too bad, but it still warrants a clean, so good old toothbrush to give it a clean. Right, okay, so I have cleaned the impeller, the impeller, the impeller assembly and put it all back together so again this is tricky with just one hand but um, we locate that into place there we go make sure that this rubber ceiling ring is clean and in place Right, let's try that. Okay. 
So, it's important that this clip comes into contact like that. And the same with the front. Of course, a little bit of pressure should help. There we go. Really important that both of those clips are doing their job. I've cleaned through this. I'll screw that back on. And this will then connect with flexible hosing. And that is what I need to reconnect it to. I need both hands for this. Thank you.